about a month and a half ago after feeling really nostalgic for the stereo equipment that I had in my youth, I went and purchased this NAD 7175PE receiver, which is in fantastic condition. I made a, a little video about that some time ago, so you might want to check my channel out uh, to hear about that. But uh, anyway, because I have so much stereo equipment in my small apartment, I had it actually situated on the floor here right in front of my TV. Now, of course, I couldn't let that remain that way. So I went out and I bought some wood and I made another stand for to add to my stereo rack, this light colored one here that I haven't stained yet, but that's coming in the future. I um, had been using my laptop as the source for this NAD receiver. And uh, so when I had the receiver sitting on the floor in front of my television, the laptop was situated right next to it. But now that I've made the stand, um, I didn't want to stack my computer, my laptop computer right on top of this NAD receiver. Uh, I didn't want to add another shelf and have all that seated, seated right on top of all my equipment. And furthermore, I didn't want to have to walk up to the laptop and uh, you know, select songs, even though I'm using that laptop primarily as a music server, I didn't want to have to walk over to the uh, to the uh, stereo rack to always go and select songs. So for a period of time, I had my laptop um, seated on my coffee table here, and I had it hardwired across the floor over to the receiver. Now that that's not really convenient. I didn't like having all those wires crossed, uh, crossing my living room. Again, my apartment's really small, as, as some of you already know, and as I've said several times. And, uh, you know, the last thing I need is something more to trip over. I already have a room filled with gear and computer equipment and all kinds of stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I, the, <laughs> I just have to try to pare this down as best as possible. So I decided I wanted to try a wireless transmitter. So I took a look around on YouTube and initially I was going to go with Bluetooth. I was going to go with, a, apparently Bluetooth has upgraded, has been upgraded to the point where it can transmit audiophile quality or close to audiophile quality. But after looking around a little bit more, I came across um, a transmitter and receiver set by a company called Ymo or Emu, spelled Y M O O, and uh, they have a couple of transmitters that transmit and receive at 2.4 gigahertz frequency, and uh, they can transmit 24-bit 192 kilohertz quality sound. So I gave it a shot. I gave them a shot, and they arrived today. And I just wanted to give you guys a lowdown on them really quickly because you know what? They're a really good solution to the problem that I had here. The transmitter and receiver set arrived from Amazon today and they came in this nice box here, nicely packaged box. And um, the transmitter and the receiver are both actually really high quality little metal units. I, I was pleasant, pleasantly surprised um, at their manufacturing uh, quality. So that was a nice bonus. Very, very easy to set up. So I've got this here set up going from my headphone output to the left and right RCA inputs over here. I've got the unit powered via USB, and it does come with a wall wart as well if you'd prefer to plug it into the wall. So I connected that here, and of course then you have, that's the, the transmitter, of course. And uh, then we have the receiver portion over here. It's the exact same looking box, it's just the uh, inverse of the one that I just showed you. And that, of course, then is hardwired over to the back of my receiver somewhere. I don't know if you can see that, but anyhow, let's get out of there. Now, upon testing this, I was so pleasantly surprised. The sound quality, I can't really discern any difference between a hardwired connection and this tr um, wireless transmission. It's fantastic, and it has freed up some wiring from having a mess of wiring on my floor. And uh, really huge bonus that I'm transmitting music now, lossless. So it is a really nice solution for anyone looking for something like this. Now, these units, uh, the uh, transmitter and receiver, they work up to a range of 100 meters. 
So it has really, really excellent transmission um, distance. Now, if you happen to be, I happen to read on Amazon that uh, this, this DJ, he was looking for a solution where he could wirelessly transmit whatever it was that he was producing on one level of the bar where he was working to have the same music reflect on the second level of the bar. So he was going to go out and purchase a, uh, a transmitter and receiver set for over $700. But before doing so, he gave these guys a go. He first gave these guys a go. And uh, it worked so well, they worked so well for him that he wrote a glowing review on Amazon. So I took a shot with them myself based on his review. And sure enough, this guy was absolutely accurate. These things are fantastic. And by the way, regarding pairing, there's nothing to the pairing. Once you have them connected and turned on, they pair to each other within just a few seconds. You can see here the blue light indicates that uh, it has paired. When you first power it on, the blue light is flashing. Once they pair up, boom, solid blue light, good to go. So um, very little latency also. Apparently there's only a, a 20 millisecond latency, so that's, that's pretty much non-discernible to the human ear. Um, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is gold for me. This is perfect, exactly what I needed, and it works very, very well. Now I've got one little caveat regarding these, uh, these, um, this transmitter and this receiver, and that is it has the potential to pick up some stray signals that are flying around your apartment. I noticed that with a certain position that I had it here, a little bit farther back on my TV stand, it was picking up a little bit of hiss from somewhere in my, from a signal transmitted somewhere in my apartment, possibly from the Wi-Fi router, I'm not sure. Wi-Fi router is right over here and it's uh, 5G, so it's quite a strong signal that's being emitted from that unit. I've noticed that if that unit is too close to an amplifier, it will cause buzzing coming out of my speakers from whatever amplifier that it's interfering with. So that is a little bit of a caveat that I just wanted to mention to anyone. So you may experience, if you do purchase these uh, units, you may experience some noise. I would recommend that if you do experience some noise, uh, some hissing and whatnot that would be emanating from the speakers themselves, uh, that you should go ahead, that you should go ahead and play with some of the, play with the positioning of these units. Because as I mentioned, I moved this unit, uh, this receiver from just back here to here, just a foot away, less, about less than a foot away. And um, the hissing was drastically reduced. So I'm not going to say that things, these things are 100% perfect by comparison to a hardwired connection, but they certainly do the trick for me in my particular um, need, for my needs at the moment. Highly recommended. Go and have a look if you need something for a similar application. Anyway, that's all I'm going to do for now for these guys. Have a good day and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hey again, guys. I, I know I just said bye a moment ago, but I uh, thought I'd give you a little sound clip before or a little demo just to show you how it works and how well it works. Not that you'll be able to tell the sound quality on here, but anyhow. So I've got my laptop seated right in front of me on my coffee table and it's wirelessly connected as I described a couple of minutes ago or in my video somewhere a couple of seconds ago. I'm just going to select a song here and double click to get this thing playing. And boom, we have nice wireless sound coming out of my ADS 730s being driven by that NAD amplifier that you see sitting right on top. And you know what? This is fantastic. It's just wonderful. So that's that. Anybody looking for such a solution, I'm telling you, these are the way to go. Never mind Bluetooth. Anyway, that's it. And this time I'll say bye for sure. See you next time.